Hello, this video is about the double circulatory system that's found in all mammals, including, of course, humans. Um, and this double circuit is one where the heart pumps blood to the body and brings it back, and then the second circuit where it pumps blood to the lungs to get oxygen and exchange gases and then brings it back. Now, that double circulatory system, the body circuit and the pulmonary circuit, pulmonary being lungs, why bother? Well, first of all, it allows the heart to um, operate at two different pressures, one for the lungs, one for the body, and at a much higher pressure than otherwise it would. And secondly, it can essentially deliver more materials to the tissues than you could with a single circuit. So that said, let's just go through the process. We'll start here on the left with blood coming back from the body, uh, ultimately via the vena cava or vena cava, depending on how you say it, uh, into the right atrium. So I've put these little abbreviations, RA is right atrium. That's what receives the blood. Uh, and notice, obviously it's the left-hand side of the diagram, but the right side of the heart, because we're thinking of the patient's heart essentially. Uh, from the right atrium into the right ventricle, the ventricles do the pumping, and that pumps blood through the pulmonary artery to the lungs. So quick aside, arteries always carry blood away from the heart. And in every situation, they're carrying oxygenated blood apart from this one, where it's taking deoxygenated blood. That's the pulmonary artery, the lung artery. Then after that, the pulmonary vein. Again, it's a vein, so it's carrying blood in. Notice the word in, in vein will help you remember. That's carrying blood into the heart, into the left atrium, left ventricle, and the left ventricle pumps the blood out through the aorta to the rest of the body. And the left ventricle doing that big job of pumping blood to the body is much thicker and stronger than the right ventricle. Thanks very much for watching.